Hey everyone, welcome back to Behind the Fleet with UND Aerospace. Today we're gonna to be talking about our American Champion Super Decathlons. So here at UND, we have two American Champion Super Decathlons that we use for a couple of different reasons. So our first reason, and probably our most popular reason, is our aerobatics team. So anyone with a private pilot's license is welcome to try out for the aerobatics team after they complete AVIT 389, and uh, it's a summer course, so you can fly over the summers and compete if you want to. The second reason is that we have spin training, so our CFIs can actually use the Super Decathlons for part of their spin training as well. In addition to that, we do offer tailwheel courses here at UND, so if you're interested in becoming a tailwheel pilot, this is a great airplane for you to learn in. All right, welcome inside the Super Decathlon. So a few quick things that I'll point out, starting behind me is that we actually have a five-point harness, so instead of just the traditional seatbelt like you'd see in the Archer, you actually have to strap into this airplane pretty tight. And you want it tight when you go upside down and you do all your aerobatics so you don't fall out of your seat. Next thing we'll talk about is the skylight. So you get all this natural light here through the roof with this sky panel we have. And then we'll move down to talking about the emergency door jettison. So in the decathlon, if you ever get yourself into a situation that you can't recover from, you can always jettison the door and then remember you have those parachutes on so you can hop out and uh, recover that way. Moving to the panel, we have our traditional six pack and you can see that the speed is actually measured in miles per hour instead of knots and that we have a G meter right next to it too. So you can see your positive and negative Gs uh, as you're flying. For our, our avionics, we have a Garmin G430 in here for communications and navigation. And then moving down, you'll see that the airplane's a constant speed airplane and it has a stick instead of a yoke, unlike the archers. Okay, so back outside the Super Decathlon, you'll notice the first thing is that I'm wearing a parachute. And that's because whenever we do spinner aerobatics training, we always have the parachute on per FAA regulations. Next thing we'll talk about is the UND Aerospace logo and how it's actually inverted. So that matter, no matter which way you're flying, right side up or upside down, the logo is always right side up. Moving inside the engine, we have an inverted fuel and oil system so we can fly upside down for a total of two minutes without having to turn right side up again. The next thing we'll talk about is the horizontal siding on the wings. So these bars move in 45 degree increments so you can always see a relation to the horizon whenever you're doing aerobatic maneuvers. Moving over just beyond the horizontal siding, we can see the spade here on the aileron, and it kind of acts like power steering wood in a car, so it makes smoother, uh, smoother controls with the aileron. All right, and that's a wrap on our American Champion Super Decathlon. If you're interested in joining the aerobatics team or your tailwheel course, we'll drop a link below, so feel free to click on that and get registered. Aside from that, thanks for tuning in, and drop a comment on which airplane you'd like to see next.